Hello everyone. My Hello. name is Pearl Gabuera. I'm Nora. Yes, and we are Amazed Global Partnerships Fellows and Advocates for Europe. Um, yeah, so we're very excited to enlighten you today about AMAZE, which is an initiative that is taking the awkward out of sexuality education. And of course, you know, all of you at this moment are wondering, um, what is AMAZE? Uh, this is a global initiative implemented by Advocates for Youth in partnership with organizations across the world. So why AMAZE? So AMAZE uh, would uh, bring, bridge the gap uh, in sexuality and puberty issue to age-appropriate educational and humorous uh, sex education videos for very young adolescents. And uh, AMAZE also uh, wants to tackle hoax uh, or uh, factually incorrect info on the internet. And we cover a range of topics under AMAZE in the sexual and reproductive health rights and this range from um, puberty, sexual violence and abuse, and pregnancy and reproduction. So how is AMAZE content developed? So first, uh, we have various streams to do it. The first one is uh, we involve uh, this technical working group, consists of teachers, young people and parents, as well as global sexuality experts to provide their uh, recommendation for a maze video adaptation. And we also informed by the uh, international, regional, and national level of sex education guidance. And lastly, we also mainstream meaningful youth participation in our program through uh, involving our AMAZE youth ambassadors. Yes, and we have a global coverage that has um, over 500 videos that are developed, dubbed, and adapted in 50 languages across 55 countries. And you may be wondering how we're able to do that. We have a global partnerships program, and really they are a very simple categories in which um, organizations can engage with us. One of them can be through integrating existing videos into local curriculum and programs. So we've had a couple of people here, you know, mentioning programs that um, require sexual reproductive health and rights. And so you could get a video the way it is and simply incorporate it. There are people who add subtitles to the videos. Um, there are some that will dub the amazed videos into a local language and others will adapt them for the local context. And the other way that you can work with Amaze is by creating a completely new video if you find that we don't have anything in our library and you would like to add onto the already 500 plus videos that we have. So to give you some of the highlights that we have of Amaze around the world, a partner in Latvia uses TikTok to share Amaze videos, while some partners in Guatemala have young people disseminating amazed videos using WhatsApp. And so that shows you the kind of accessibility that we have. So each community and country will customize the dissemination to meet their needs according to their context. Specifically in Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, we created two new videos, one on female genital mutilation or cutting, which is a harmful traditional practice that is popular in the region, and another about access to sexual excuse me, sexual health services, which is something that is important for young people to know about. And that is the kind of work that we do. Um, we also have um, a partner in Madagascar called Project Joanne Leader, who created a comic book. And this is to address um, issues to do with internet, for example, where sometimes it's harder for communities to access this information, say, on YouTube. And so they will um, find a means that works for them. And then in South Africa, we have a partner called BeWise who integrated the Amaze videos into their website and so they can be easily accessed on another platform. Okay, so for Asia, we work with UNFPA uh, Backup Office or SA Passive Regional Office and adapted six videos in promoting safety in internet usage, explaining the concept of consent, raising awareness on the issue of sexual violence, sexual orientation and emotion as well as mental health. And we also are now expanding the program together with the UNESCO and UNFPA Backup Office by involving uh, educators, 
young people and gender activists under some CSO as part of a digital sexuality network in three countries consultations to provide uh, suggestions and developing lesson plans and discussion guides to accompany them in showing the videos to young people around them. And so, you know, if you're looking at um, partnering with Amaze, it's very simple. Um, all you have to do is visit amaze.org and you can check out our um, library of videos and find out if you want to use them as they are, if you want to integrate them into the programming, if you're looking to subtitle, dub or adapt, and or create new videos. And yeah, we can just work together at finding a way to improve the comprehensive sexuality education in your region. some of our videos you can uh, like scan the QR code here or you can also visit one of this social media accounts. <laughs>